Hello, I am Veronica and in this video you will know about the very promising upcoming project Super Oracles. So if you have never heard about smart contracts, oracles or super oracles before, I'll give you some context beforehand. But if you want to skip this, you can use the chapters that uh, I'm going to put a bit later. So to understand what is the main mission of super oracles and what problems they solve, you have to understand three main things. Those are decentralized finance, smart contracts and uh, oracles. <laughs> yeah, obviously. So what is decentralized finance or DeFi as I'm gonna call it later? It is a set of financial instruments which allow you to own your own money and also manage it without any third parties like banks or exchange rate companies or brokers for example and any others. So in this case of course blockchain and cryptocurrency are involved but I'm sure you already know this since you're in this video. So anyways, if you describe it in one sentence, you yourself own your own money and manage it. And in this way, blockchain acts as an equalizer of everybody because everybody has the same opportunity and also it makes the process of managing your finances more efficient. Smart contracts are computer programs that are stored on a blockchain. And the main idea behind them is that they execute certain actions as soon as the conditions are met. So, for example, this can be a token swap or an exchange or an execution of a legal contract or an agreement between a buyer and a seller. Smart contracts can also be used in a case of hacking in DeFi on blockchain. For example, when the condition of this hacking is met and somebody attempts to get the data, the contract automatically executes the action of sending all the money, all the cryptocurrency from the wallet into another address. In this case, you do not need to rely on any human to perform this very um, important action. You only need to rely on the quality of the smart contract itself and whatever gets put into that, whatever you agree to, that gets executed and nobody, neither the buyer or the seller or any of the parties can change this contract. Somehow, smart contracts need to understand as soon as the conditions are met. So for that, you have oracles. Oracles provide the outside data to the blockchain. So these examples of outside data of the world can be cryptocurrency rates or, for example, an outcome of a certain event in case of betting companies, as to say. Oracles are also built on a blockchain and they can be either centralized or decentralized. Centralized means that one entity performs this, giving the information into the blockchain. Decentralized, on the other hand, they rely on different nodes where the information comes from. And ideally, these nodes, they are independent from each other and they do not communicate. This makes the data that you get more precise since you get the average of all the information from the nodes and it also makes it quicker and more reliable in a way because there is no one certain governing body. Here comes the oracle dilemma, which you might not even notice or know about unless you're a developer. So let's just think of it. I'm talking about decentralized oracles at the moment. You have nodes where the information comes from, and let's say there are 21, 31 of them. Let's say 21. And you sit at the node, you are the validator of the information at the node. But what if you have 20 friends who are also validators? That already brings up the question whether those nodes are actually communicating or not. In this case, for example, if you establish a system where you're all friends and validators, you might hold the decision one second longer or give it out one second earlier to your own advantage. For example, that you get the exchange rate slightly later so that before it changes you can use your bots to buy or a certain amount of currency, let's say. So in this way, the having decentralized oracles is not even that secure because these nodes are fixed and super oracles allows those nodes to be rotating. Let's finally start talking about the super oracle itself. Super oracles was created to solve five main problems that current oracle decisions all share. First of all, it is truly decentralized. The nodes where the information gets from are randomly chosen and they are always rotating. Secondly, it's very secure. It's very secure for this particular reason because it's much harder to get those nodes to communicate. Number three is the speed. 
current Oracle decisions allow for the information to get into the blockchain in around three minutes, a bit more, a bit less, doesn't matter. But Super Oracles, on the other hand, allows for this information to get and to renew, what's also important, every three to five seconds. Fourth, fourthly, oh, or the fourth problem that Super Oracle solves is the scalability because it's very easy to scale this kind of projects because the nodes are, can be located anywhere and it's actually very good if they are located in very different locations. Fifth problem that the project solves is the interoperability or cross-chain communication. It means that Super Oracles serves multiple ecosystems and therefore multiple blockchains can use it. There are more than 25 teammates, but the CEO, the main guy is Joshua Topkin, who is based in Taipei and just like the Super Oracles, this, this website, uh, all this time it was their website, by the way. Uh, anyway, so he's based in Taipei and he had a very grand experience in this sphere. He worked with the largest IoT company in Taiwan. He himself established the Unity chain, this is a crypto lab in Taipei. And he also worked with Walmart China. It's actually very convenient that the Super Oracles is coming out now because it's quite late, so to say, because all the previous decisions have been made and tried out and the mistakes have been thought about. Oh, wow, I'm rhyming. Anyways, in fact, many have already recognized the utility of Super Oracles because they have more than 180 partnerships, including MasterCard, Ethereum, or Dimit Definity, sorry. And, uh, if you want to know about the other 177 or more partnerships that they have, you can visit their website. Speaking of the website, let's take a closer look at it. And here it is, pretty self-explanatory. If you're interested and want to know more, you can of course have a look. But I don't think you need to hear anything from me about the website in particular. At the bottom, you can also subscribe for their newsletter. But what I wanted to show you here was the social media links. And um, you have Telegram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Medium, and also Discord. And clicking on the Discord, you get an invite link to the server. And after accepting the invite, you get into this page, into the welcome page. And um, yeah, there are a little instructions. And on the left, after, yes, as I said, after going through the verification process, you get roles, survey updates, announcements, and uh, all of that kind of thing. You can see it yourself. And to then the role, you can just click on them. And But those are quite arbitrary, I would say, because uh, any of the users can do that. But if you want an actual role, you can go to the official links. And here we see something quite important. You have the official website link and the About Us page, but you also have a Node Operator whitelist and Supra token whitelist. So yes, Supra is going to have their own token. And if you want to be a part of the project and buy um, their token, you go to that link, uh, which I'm going to also put into the description box. And you get whitelisted and you get a 48 hour early access to the sale, which is going to be pretty soon. No particular date yet. It's early 2022. So maybe in the upcoming month or two. And uh, after clicking on getting whitelisted, you just get a very short form, putting your name, email and surname and bam, you're done. And yeah, let's go back to the Discord server now and click on the Super Node Operator whitelist. Yes, if you're interested on, in becoming the Node Operator, you click this. There is a quite a bit longer form, but this is understandable why. You need some comprehensive information about who is the validator at the node. And uh, let's go back to my face now. So let's wrap up this video with the last section of why should you care? First of all is data security, which is much more important than anything else because smart contracts execute whatever you put into them. You must be pretty damn sure in what information from the outside world you're putting in. And the second main takeaway is the speed of super oracles, which allows for the three to five seconds refreshment of the data in comparison with three minute refreshment of the previous decisions. And uh, this is very suitable for the modern market, which changes rapidly. And let's say market has hiccups and the currency rates are changing every like minute or so. 
the previous block uh, oracle decisions might not even catch them and with the super oracles you can be accommodated for the fastly changing, rapidly evolving markets. So this project is of particular interest for of course for creators, developers and businesses. That's all I wanted to tell you about this project and uh, thank you for getting to the end of the video. See you next one!